Alright, we're going to learn how to factor trinomials using the AC method. First, we've got to, we have our first equation right here. Excuse me. We have our first equation, x squared plus 10x plus 25. This is considered easy compared to the rest of them. Before we have to do the AC method, we have to identify this first term is a, the x squared. The 10x is our b term, 25 being our c term. After we've got that, we have to create a cross or an x, and on top half we take a times c. a times c in this case would just be 25. We leave the x behind for now. And then our lower half we would take 10 x or b. We leave the 10 or the x behind also. Now what we have to do is take our a times c, and we have to find multiples of that number that when added together will give us our b term. In this case, that 25 will be 5 times 5. 5 times 5. With that, we re rewrite our equation and substituting these two no new na uh, numbers, 5 and 5, and for b. So we rewrite our equation with still x and c, that being x squared x squared plus 5x plus 5x plus 25. And with that, we do the grouping method to factor completely, which we take the, we split the equation in half, and then we take the greatest common factor out of each of those. The greatest common factor out of the first one would be x, I'll just do right here. We take out an x, that leaves us with an x plus 5. x plus 5. Our second equation, 5x plus 25, our greatest common factor would be 5. 5 parentheses, uh, x plus 25. Now with that, we have, we notice that these two parentheses from two different equations up here are the exact same thing. Uh, it would be if I would have written it correctly. It is just a 5, not a 25, if we take a 5 out. So with that, each of these, these two parentheses will have to be the same. If they're not the same, something has been done wrong. And you have to redo it, or step back and figure out what you did wrong. Now, this is a coincidence seeing how our greatest common factors are both x plus 5 as long as with these x plus 5. So, we could write it out x plus 5. And make another x plus 5 in parentheses and we'd be done. But you can also rewrite it in the easy form of just x plus 5 squared. That's our answer for the first problem. That was our easy. Alright, now for our medium, ah, me. now for our medium, we'll do this a little bit faster. With this, we have an actual variable or a coefficient in front of x squared in our a term. Now I've identified the a, b, and c this time, and again we're going to use our cross, or x, now for our top half, again we're going to take a times c, but in this case a has a coefficient of 4. So 4 times 6, 24. Now we put on our b in the lower, which in this case is 11. Okay. Then we take the, we take 24, find multiples of, to find the multiples of 24 that when added together will give us 11. In this case, 8 times 3 equals 24. 8 plus 3 equals 11, so we're going to put an 8 and a 3 here. So again, we're going to rewrite the equation. It's going to be 4x squared, we're done at the square, plus 8x plus 3x plus 6. And again, we're going to fac uh, factor by grouping. Imagine that I, that I split this in half. 
I want to take the greatest common factors out of both of those. Greatest common factor out of the first one would be a 4, so we're left with a 4 outside parentheses and an x. And we're left with an x plus 2. In our next equation, we're going to take out a 3. We take out a 3, we get a 3 times x plus 2. Again, our two parentheses match up, and we're in good shape. We, re we, re we, re we rewrite the problem with 4x plus 3 and x plus 2. And that is our medium problem. Now for the harder problems, yeah, second. for the harder problems, we will get a negative for the b. Now with that, we're going to say this is a b c again. Put it in across. We've got nine times five. That's forty-five. And we got negative eighteen. Now this gets difficult because instead of just adding the two variables, or the two multiples of 45, instead of just adding, we have to somehow subtract to get to the negative 18. So this time, instead of, instead of subtracting a number by another number that adds up to negative 18, we're going to take negative 15, and add that to negative 3. Now when we rewrite the, pro the problem, we're going to get 5x squared, I assume that's a squared, minus 15x, minus 3x, minus 18, or 9. Let me move that. There. And again, factor by grouping, we're going to split this in half, and now we're going to take the greatest common factor out of each of these. This one's greatest common factor is a 5 and an x, so we'll take 5x, and we're left with x minus 3. In our next equation, we're going to take out a negative 3. I apologize, I had written this wrong. It's not minus 9, it's going to be actually a plus 9. So we take out a negative 3. We're left with x minus 2. Again, our parentheses line up and match. And then we rewrite the whole equation. Outside parentheses is 5x minus 3. And our inside parentheses is x minus 3. And that is how you factor using the AC method.